Welcome to Electron Online. There are actually some really interesting applications for the discriminant, and here's one of them. Let's say that we throw a ball straight upward with an initial speed of 80 feet per second, and we can calculate the height of the, of the ball by using that equation that came from physics and Newton's laws. Then we can find the maximum height of that ball by using the discriminant. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that equation and write it as follows. We write it as 0 is equal to minus 16t squared plus 80t and minus h. Simply by taking the h to the right side becomes minus h and by interchanging the two terms so that we can find out that a is equal to minus 16, b is equal to 80, and c is equal to minus h. And now we're going to plug that into our discriminant. So the discriminant is equal to, uh, let's see, that would be b squared minus 4ac. And so therefore, b squared, that would be 80 squared minus 4 times a, which is a minus 16, times c, which is a minus h. All right, plugging that in, that is equal to 80 squared, that would be 6400 minus 4 times that, that would be 64, that's plus, but then we have a minus 64h. There's the discriminant. Now remember that the discriminant is part of this. So the square root of d is equal to the square root of b squared minus 4ac. And so this is equal to, in this case, the square root of 6400 minus 64h, like this. And so obviously, that the only way we can get a real solution is if what's inside the radical, we can then say that what's inside the radical has to be greater than or equal to zero. In other words, we know that d must be greater than or equal to zero in order to have a real solution, which means that what's here, 6400 minus 64h, must be greater than or equal to zero. Okay, now moving this over to the other side, we end up at minus 64 h is greater than or equal to minus 6400. Now we're going to divide both sides by the negative coefficient in front of h. Of course, when we have an inequality and we divide by a negative number, we need to flip the sign. So that means that minus 64 h is now less than or equal to minus 6400 when we divide both sides by a negative number this and so this cancels out so let's go over here so now we have h must be less than or equal to 100 and so that comes out of the equation where we solve for the discriminant the restriction is that for the discriminant to be greater than or equal to zero it is necessary for the height to be less than or equal to 100 in other words the maximum value that h can have is 100 so therefore the maximum height max h is equal to 100 and of course we're dealing with feet here and that's how we can use the discriminant to determine the maximum height the ball will go simply by knowing the restrictions on the discriminant in that quadratic equation and that is how it's done.